Welcome. My name is Mark, and this is my video lecture on word problems. Now, these word problems here are really designed for pre-algebra students, but you can also use it in intermediate algebra and beginning algebra just to warm up your word problem skills. Okay, so let's look at the first one, the one to your left. Four more than nine times a number is 85. Now, we want to find the number. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up a mathematical equation to represent this sentence. Okay, so what key words do we have in here? We have more, we have times, and we have is. What does more generally mean in a word problem? Well, more generally means you're going to add something, so I'm going to put a little plus there. What does times mean? Times usually means you're going to multiply, so I'm going to put an X as my time symbol. And what is is? Is always means equal sign, so I'm going to put an equal sign under there. Okay. So let's translate everything that's in front of the is. Four more than nine times a number. So what does that mean? If I have more than something. That means I had to have something first and then I had more than. Okay? So what was the something that I had first? The something that you had first was nine times the number, and I'm going to let x represent that number. So nine x. And then you want four more than that, so that's plus four. Is always tells you equal sign, and then it tells you what it's set to, eighty five, so eighty five. Now, what do we need to do to solve this? Well, when you're trying to solve for x, your goal is basically to do what? Get x by itself. So let's get x by itself. So the first thing I need to do here is what? Subtract a 4 from both sides. Okay. So a 4 minus 4 is 0, so that's gone. Now what's 85 minus 4? 85 minus 4 is what? 81, okay. Now we got 9x times 81. So 9x times 81, what do I need to do to get x by itself? You always got to do what? The opposite operation. So if you have 9 times x, what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. You divide both sides by 9, what do you get? So 9x divided by 9, these 9's go away, and so you just have an x on your left-hand side. And then 81 divided by 9 is what? It's 2. Okay. And so your answer is 2. Okay, let's look at the one on the right-hand side. 6 less than 3 times the number is 21. So what are our key words in here? We got less, we got times, and then we got is. What does less mean? Less means a minus. You're going to subtract. So I'm going to put a minus sign above it. Times again, well, we already reviewed that over there, so that's multiplication, so I'm going to put a mul multiplication symbol there, the little x. Is means equal sign. Okay? Now we got to set this up. Six less than three times a number. So if you have six less than something, that means you had to have something first. Okay? You can't have less than something unless something exists. So what exists before you had 6 less than? The 3 times a number. So how can we represent 3 times a number? 3x. Okay. And then we want 6 less than that. Minus 6. Is 21. Okay. So there's our equation. Now let's solve. First thing I want to do is I want to isolate my variable terms. Okay, I want to get just the x terms by itself. So in order to do that, I need to move this 6 over. What's the current operation happening with 6? It's subtraction. Okay, what's your inverse of subtraction? It's addition. So I need to add 6 to both sides. Minus 6 plus 6, that's a 0, so that goes away. So it's 21 plus 6. 27. Bring down my 3x. 
3x equals 27. So what's the current operation happening between the 3 and the x? It's what? Multiplication. Okay. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So you need to divide both sides by 3. So I'm dividing both sides by 3. So 3x divided by 3 just leaves you with an x. And then what's 27 divided by 3? Did I hear you say 9? Okay, good. 9. And that's your answer there. Okay, so this has been my video lecture on word problems. You can look me up online, www.supergenius99.com. Thank you for watching.